we all know about the rising costs of housing, of food, of medicine, of education, of heating and fuel. We are here, we are calling for a proper public housing policy. We are calling for the welfare rate to be raised to above the Henderson poverty line. We are calling for the abolition of the cruel and unnecessary practices of mutual obligations. The hardship that I and others face is directly caused by the decisions of this government. They have chosen to leave the current rate of payments well below any and every measure of the poverty line. Three years ago, the coalition showed us that we could practically end poverty for millions overnight with the introduction of the coronavirus supplement. For many of us, the supplement changed our lives. It was the first time I'd been out of poverty in my entire life. The welfare system is killing people. It is causing people to self-harm and die by suicide at twice the rate of the general population. It is stealing people's present and future. We need our dignity recognised and our quality of life immediately improved. We were advertised a Prime Minister who understood disadvantage, who understood poverty, with a disabled mum living in public housing. What we weren't told was the next four decades this man spent in politics uh, ensured his comfort and safety while watching ours fail beneath us and harming the most vulnerable among us. I hate having to say no to my child as much as I have to say no. I hate having to explain that the week before payment, there's just no opportunity for us to do anything fun. It's literally go to school, come home, go to school, come home. She deserves better. I deserve to be in a position where I can give her better. Fuck you, Albanese, for betraying everyone in the vulnerable community. Raising the right. It's a huge thing because I don't know how many people talk to your homeless communities. Um, honestly, I miss the communities. The homelessness, it sucks. But when, from every homeless person I've ever met, those who have taken their own lives to the young kids today, they, they, they grow up in a lifelong game of monopoly. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It destroys lives. Anthony Albanese and the Labour government tell us that they have to make tough choices at this budget. But the fact is that it is people like yourselves who are making those tough choices. Not the government, not Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. People every single day have to choose between putting food on the table or buying medicine. People every single day have to choose between turning their heater on in freezing cold or paying the rent. Shame. People every single day have to choose between going to the dentist or paying off their student debt. Mr. Albanese earns $1,507 a day as Prime Minister. Shame. We earn less than $50 a day. 30 of you here who are on payments equal one day of Albo's pay. And that's not before all the little perks and all the little allowances, thank you, that he gets.